New germ robots found in Texas and plenty of other hospitals are quickly becoming a hit. Xenex germ-killing robot is said to be more effective than bleach itself, killing 50% of all bacteria left over on surfaces after a typical hospital cleaning. Rachel Sparks, a representative of Xenex, says, quote, the UV light is absorbed by the DNA of bacteria and viruses causing them to die, end quote. Despite its large price tag, doctors say it will be well worth it, even if just a few patients are saved from the hospital-related infections. The director of the National Security Administration released official documents to the public containing the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court Order to conduct sweeping of American communications. The 1,000-page document released by James R. Clapper Jr. also outlines the NSA's violation of the order by providing evidence of unwarranted collection of American cell phone data. The court order was issued in 2004 when the courts brought the practices of the NSA under its supervision. The NSA had been collecting email records without court or congressional approval as part of a secret terrorist surveillance program authorized by President George W. Bush in the wake of the September 2001 terrorist attacks. The cast of the Hunger Games sequel, Catching Fire, took to the red carpet for the Los Angeles premiere of the film. Thousands of people lined up to catch a glimpse of the cast on their victory tour as Jennifer Lawrence, Josh Hutcherson, and Liam Hemsworth, with the rest of the cast, enter the Nokia Theater. Critics are praising the film and the box office sales are sure to skyrocket. The third film, Mockingjay, is already five weeks into production. Filming will resume after Thanksgiving. Laura, I would love to talk to you about one of your stories, but I heard that it was someone's birthday today. It is. It's my Happy birthday. Happy birthday. 20 Happy years birthday. old today. What are Thank you going to do? Well, actually, I was just talking about Catching Fire. I'm super excited because I'm going to see it tonight. Oh, I awesome. cannot wait. I, I heard it's really good. I heard it that's too. That's what I heard. I'm very excited. You have to let me know. I will. I'll let you know. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Welcome back. Let's go to Aris Theophanopoulos with sports news. Michael Jordan plays beer pong. The greatest basketball player in history was caught playing beer pong at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel in Miami Beach. The six-time NBA champion has been under scrutiny, however. Not for playing, but for cheating during the match, when there was plenty of video evidence showing Jordan's throwing elbow over the table. According to official rules of the game, that is considered illegal. It is not certain if the five-time MVP won the match. So, beer pong and Michael Jordan. I wonder if he bet on the game. Because <laughs> he, he did gamble a lot on his own games, right, didn't he? He did. He, yeah. did. And he was a cheater now in this game. I so. guess if you're going to play, do it right. I guess so. All, All right. right. Well, instead of beer pong, maybe tonight go out at 8 p.m. to watch Swan and Flieger. It is actually not 7 p.m., but 8 p.m. tonight. So break legs to them. RTN will be taping. And thanks for watching RTN News. I'm Caitlin Scott. And I'm Tyler Mulvey. We will enjoy seeing you guys next week.